So, last time you were with us, your assistant was your sister, and it seemed to be, like, against her will. <laughs> How did that turn out? Like, was she upset with you, or um, she had... She was upset, and I had to tape her back together. <laughs> okay. And is she gonna make an appearance tonight? Or She's she... still recovering. <laughs> <laughs> Last time on America's Got Talent, I brought my sister on stage, and she thought I was going to turn her into a princess. But I surprised her, and I saw her in half. She's still a little mad at me, but it's all in the name of magic. My dad is a magician. I really get a lot of my inspiration from him. When I was a little kid, I remembered watching my dad on stage, and now the tables have turned. Now he's watching me. Kevin comes to me with some amazing magic ideas, and he'll draw them out, and he's like, how can I create this? I'm crazy proud of him. For the rest of my life, I want to be able to do magic. It's, like, in my blood. Go ahead. Good luck, buddy. whatsoever. Uh -uh. You had six ladies jumped out of the suitcase. I was like, wow. And then I kind of thought, I want to see another trick. And then boom! <laughs> it was brilliant. Very, very entertaining. Thank you. Thank you. I really loved it, and I especially love your stage presence. Thank you. You have more stage presence than some grown-ups. Absolutely. Would love to have. Well, this is kind of spooky. This is like <laughs> real-life Harry Potter, right? <laughs> It's incredible. Yeah. You're somebody else who's making this very hard for us to make a decision. Remember, only six can go through because Reba pressed her golden buzzer. Thank you so much. Great team.